Hey everyone, this is another monthly recap of Superbase and this time we're going to cover everything that happened in August. So the first thing is that we raised a Series A. We raised $30 million from our existing investors and largely this is going to be used to continue growing the community, um, keep shipping the features that we have been shipping, uh, the Firebase equivalent features, and just keep growing uh, what what we've been doing so thank you to all those in the community who have been contributing this has been a big help obviously for raising this round and if you're not already involved do check out our github or our discord and make sure you jump in now's the time to get involved so once again thank you very much we'll have a lot more details on our round coming up very soon on our uh, blog and on our twitter so you can follow there for further updates the next big one um, is actually what we've codenamed Walrus. Now, Walrus is right ahead log real-time unified security. That is quite a mouthful, but actually uh, what this means is that we are putting uh, row-level security inside the real-time server. So if you've been using real-time, we have been recommending since the start that you don't use it within the browser and you only use it on server-side. But um, that is because we didn't have real-time uh, road-level security. However, now we have this proof of concept. It's very robust. We've even performance tested it. It's doing very well. Not only does it have uh, road-level security, but we've added a bunch of the f uh, filters that didn't exist inside uh, real-time already. So um, what we're doing at the moment is releasing this in the public for comments. We're going to do this RFC process, a ref request for comments. If you want to try it out, there's some instructions on how to do it and, and a lot more details inside the repo. So you can just open an issue against the repo and um, leave your comments. We'd love to have some feedback. The next one is SMS templates. So if you've been using our new uh, phone logins, you can see you can turn on and off um, phone logins. Then you might have noticed that the SMS template is quite long. Now we have made it short. Uh, well, now we've made it configurable. So you can come in here under templates and you can set up the SMS template yourself. The other change to the dashboard is we've improved the UX around table creation. There's quite a few changes here actually. So if you come to this new panel and you click create table, you'll see that you can obviously do the name and description like you could before. You can immediately enable row level security, which is advisable of course. Uh, it's by default not enabled by um, Postgres, which is why we tried to leave it as its default. Then you can actually set up the columns immediately from this panel. You can set up composite keys by selecting mul multiple primary keys. You can even uh, yeah, start setting up your foreign keys directly from here before you have set up the table. So there's a lot of UX changes gone on around the table creation. The other one to mention is that the import spreadsheet, previously people were really uploading some large CSV files and uh, breaking <laughs> the dashboard. So we've made it very robust. We've tried to make it unbreakable, you know, millions of rows, anything that you want, we'll try to handle that. Um, so no doubt people will stress test that now that I've said that, but please do and let us know if you see any bugs. Once again, we've got this widget up the top. Uh, if I close out of that widget up the top where you can leave any bug reports. Finally, uh, well, not finally, uh, the next up is that we have Dart libraries. So if you've been using Flutter or Dart uh, on mobile, uh, or maybe Flutter and Dart on desktop or web even, uh, it is a cross-platform framework. So if you've been using that, there are now uh, these client libraries, these reference libraries that were contributed wholly by one guy, Tyler, from the community who has also been contributing on the libraries himself. So um, there's a, a, all the documentation that you need for auth, for database, for storage, for real-time modifiers, everything. If you've been using uh, real-time, please, um, uh, sorry, if you've been using Dart, please do check, check out these docs, test them out. And if there are any problems, then feel free to submit a PR and we'll get them reviewed and into the docs as soon as possible. Finally, one last thing, it wouldn't be a super base announcement if we didn't have some sort of meme. And uh, we had a big hackathon last month and uh, it was a week long hackathon that ran inside our um, uh, inside 
uh, our Discord, which was very cool. We'll actually run another one because it was so successful. But the team also had a hackathon and we had a few internal um, winners. But the one that I want to shout out uh, most is one created by Josh and, and our team. He's created this uh, website called Meme Town, which is, uh, of course, a meme generator. Um, you can select te templates. Uh, let's see. So let's select this template. You can put, um, you know, sort of stickers on top, laser eyes. You can choose any of the common stickers. You can put some text wherever you want it. Um, yeah, and then you can export it and you can download it. You can do whatever you want. It's very cool. So check out Meme Town. Uh, share your memes either on our Discord or our Twitter. We'd love to see them. And uh, happy hacking.